Welcome to the documentary of Linwood, Ontario. Throughout this video, you will learn many different facts about the before part of town and the after. There is a current population of approximately a thousand people. Linwood is slowly expanding as it seems to have come to a stop now. Here we are at the edge of one of the three signs that mark the edge of our small but history filled town. We are more than just a pool in the woods, someone once wrote. Now let's take a pic look at some pictures from before and after and learn about the history of Linwood. Here we are taking a look at the old Linwood library. This library was just a mobile library. To get a subscription, it was about 10 cents per year. Um, to start this library, they were granted $25 and they borrowed another $100 to purchase books. Nowadays, you wouldn't be able to buy much of that money. This is what the library um, yeah, this is what the library moved to. It's on the east side of the fire hall at the back. It's just a very small library. Um, they're currently moving it to the new Linwood Recreation Center to provide them with more space. Um, they finally had enough funds to move the library. Um, the cost of it was $27,000 to open this one in January of 1971. This is a photo of the old Linwood um, Tavern. The photo was taken in 1949. Um, upstairs of the tavern was uh, four bedrooms and they had suitable bedding and everything for the um, people that came from out of town to stay here. This photo was taken in 2000. It is the a current photo of the Linwood Inn and tavern. Um, it sold lots of different um, meals and the Linwood Tavern is now a veterinarian clinic um, made for medicine so we actually don't have a Linwood Tavern anymore. This building used to be um, <clears throat> the old St. Peter's Lutheran Church in Linwood. So it was a Lutheran church um, and it was there for many years um, until they had enough funds to built a new building. It then moved to a bakery um, for approximately 40 years. Um, <clears throat> a family moved into there and the woman and the husband um, provided for the bakery. Um, this bakery is now just someone's home on the main street of Linwood. This is the old Linwood Public School. It was a two-room brick building. It was in the same location that all of the other former Linwood schools were in. It's now just someone's farm. It has a metal shop and a barn that's on it. The new Linwood Public School is inside the town, whereas this one and all the former ones were located just outside of it. The current one is approximately 850 students attending, whereas before it was just a two-room school. The oldest um, standing buildings that's in Linwood still that um, existed here before. This photo was taken in 1912. <clears throat> um, as someone quotes, When I was four years old, my parents bought a house in Linwood, complete with a smokehouse for curing meat, and also a small barn that sheltered a horse, a cow, and a few chickens. Also two pigs each year that would be butchered in the fall for our winter meat supply. So that just shows that this house was very old, even though it, um, it's been fixed up a few times, but it still holds a lot of history for a lot of people and a lot of different families. This photo was taken in from 1910 to 1915. This is a Presbyterian church in Linwood. Um, research shows that during the first 20 years of um, gathering in this church, um, the little church group had 14 different ministers. Um, so they could get no one to stay with them for a really long time, I guess. This is what the church looks like now. It's the original building, and it looks pretty much the same as it did before. This is a photo of the Leonard garage taken in the, um, the late 1950s. So this garage was used, um, it was open six days a week. That you, you could pump gas or you could get your cars fixed. Um, and in around the 1980s, um, they had to expand the bay door to get um, trucks in because they wanted to supply services for the Linwood Public School and the um, Jones Feed the Mills that's in Linwood. Um, they needed to get the trucks in to be able to um, get fixed and their doors just weren't large enough. This is what the garage looks like now. Um, 
you can no longer pump gas there. They took those stands out because it was too costly. But you can fix your cars there and get everything repaired that you need. You can get snow tires for the winter and everything else. This photo was taken in 1943. Um, this is a really old picture of um, the feed mill. It used to be a cider mill and a sawmill. And this is what the feed mill now looks like. So it has expanded tremendously. Um, the Jones family runs it. And it has been passed down for two generations in that family. Um, this photo was the old real resale center in Linwood. Um, in 1899, there was a burglar that entered the warehouse one evening. Um, the two brothers that owned the building were locking up. Um, the burglar, or the one of the boys um, ran for a pistol and fired at the men the like burglars and one of the burglars returned the fire and it shot through someone's sleeve elbow um that was the first time anyone had an attempt to like burglar or like break into anything in such a small town this building is now um the linwood postal office and um the linwood windows and doors store this photo was taken in 2002 this photo was taken in the early 1990s this um building was a hotel and a chick hatchery. Um, this building is now just some apartment buildings and it holds some residences of Linwood. This fo photo was taken in 1928. Um, Linwood had recently installed two 40-gallon tanks of chemical fire extinguishers. Um, and kind of ironically, two months later, the building that like held all of these chemicals caught on fire and it was burnt down, which then the townspeople couldn't put out the fire, so they had to rely on neighboring um, towns, and they had to carry buckets. So the fire hall is now just a garage and storage building for the Linwood Home Hardware. This photo was taken in 1936. Um, it's a picture of the old Schnurz building. Um, the building has practically remained the same, but it uh, um, yeah has just been repaired a few times. So the building has been passed on from for six generations, the um, store I mean, and it's one of the few stores in Linwood that we have to provide services for us. This store provides um, just your standard groceries and basic needs that you would need. This photo was taken in 1910. Um, this was the old post office of Linwood, so this is where um, the letters and things would come in the mail. Um, this is the building now. It looks pretty much the same. It's the original. Um, it's getting older. Um, this photo was taken in 2002, which is almost 100 years later. And this building is now just apartment buildings. It also holds residences. Um, of this women. photo was taken in the 1940s. Um, this is a fish store, so it just sold, uh, yes, fish and um, kind of a few basic groceries. This is what the store is now. It's the Quickway Corner Store. It sells, um, you can buy, like, takeout food. You can buy movies, you can buy books, and there's just some other random things in there that you can buy, like drinks and some of your basic needs also. Here we are with my mother, Luann Dunbar. She was born and raised in Linwood. So tell us, how long has your family been here? My father's grandfather settled here. Can you please explain to me the significance of the land you're currently standing on? This was the family farm, the Friedman family farm, and my father and his brother, my uncle, developed the land into a subdivision. Is this only land development that has happened in this town? No, there's one other subdivision, and beyond that, now all property in the area is landlocked. So this is as big as it gets. Perfect. Thank you for your time. Thank you for watching the video of Linwood.